Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. Before I proceed I want to apologize as I'm not sure how this is going to come out. But as you guys can see I'm actually recording from my laptop. It's been one thing after the other. I promised myself that I would upload these videos on the 1st of May and we are now on the second day of May and it's been like one thing after the other. It's just been completely crazy. I want to thank all of you guys, my new and old subscribers. I truly, genuinely thank you guys for all the support and love you guys have been showing to me. So anyways, let's get into this reading Virgos. For time purposes, I've already cut or I've already shuffled and cut the deck. So let's get right into it, okay? This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising in regards to general reading for May 2018. In regards to communication, how you're going to be communicating with other people for the month of May 2018, you have the, the wheel, the wheel of the year. Okay, so the wheel of the year is definitely talking about travel for those of you guys that are, you're going to be communicating about desires, wants, um, achievements, uh, goals. I, I'm feeling this re-energized type of energy um, but also talking about travel there's going to be a lot of communication and planning uh, this could be vacations this could be just you know a road trip or something like that um, but the wheel of the year definitely speaks about striking luck so the way you communicate is you're going to be very social for the month of May um, and being you know being very open to being out there and just you know having a blast try the best you can not to overdo it um, in regards to your finances with the element of earth, you have the seven of cups. So the seven of cups is definitely talking about having a lot of options or getting to a point of having options. Um, in regards to finances, perhaps for those of you guys that have not had any luck with getting a job, the month of May is definitely, I highly encourage you guys to start applying, start putting effort towards getting a job and you're going to definitely be having more than two options to choose from. In regards to fire with the element of the element of fire challenge for the month of May 2018, you have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups as a challenge is, okay, give me one second because I'm getting multiple messages for you guys. All right, so the Wheel of the Year, the Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups is definitely talking to me about if there is a person from the past that recently reached out to you or will reach out to you for the month of May, trying to rekindle or trying to reconnect, I feel that with the Four of Cups, there's a feeling of boredom. There's a feeling like either you're just not interested anymore or you're like completely not interested anymore. Um, but also with the Four of Cups, this speaks about lacking goals and motivations and with the wheel of the year in initially in the reading this is definitely telling me that the wheel is turning and it's time for you to put your intentions out there to actually get the ball rolling so what i mean by that is for the month of may you're going to be you're going to notice that you're going to be very um luck prone uh having good luck having good juju on you uh and this perhaps is something that you have not experienced in quite a while so my suggestion is start to put your intentions on what you want, whether it's relationships, whether it's finances, whether it's getting a job, whatever it is, put effort into it and only pursue those things that are, you're very passionate about. Because if not, Virgo, you can find yourself being extremely bored or get quickly uh, to a point of boredom or tiredness of not wanting to deal with that. So what I mean by that is if, as an example, uh, you get three opportunities um, to get a new employment and out of those three you go for the one that makes the most money instead of doing one that you know you would enjoy and you would like it's gonna become very repetitive to you that you're gonna walk out or leave that job anyways so my suggestion is be pulled towards that that you're passionate about or that excites you because that's what's gonna keep you motivated and I feel that for the month of May May is going to be very important for you guys to remain motivated. So whatever it is, whether it's having a new um, regimen in regards to like working out, um, 
having goals or wanting to achieve goals, it's going to be very important for you to remain or try the best you can to remain focused. Uh, and the only way to do so is to do things that you genuinely are passionate about. Because if not, your interest is going to run out very quickly. So try the best you can. And this could even be in regards to relationships as well. Uh, for the month of May, you may experience that you have more than two suitors that are interested in you. Um, go for the one that you know you have commonalities with and there's more things there in common than to go for someone that perhaps you are physically more attracted to because they will become dull or you will get tired of them basically. So be mindful about that. In regards to the element of water with your emotions for the month of May, you have the five of swords. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So I'm going to be completely honest with you, Virgos. I'm not liking this reading. We started off good. Um, but with the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Swords, I feel that there, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, there's going to be a lot of petty fights. And I feel that these petty fights have a lot to do with either you or your partner have too much time in your hands. Um, so my suggestion is if it's you, Virgo, that has too many too much time in your hands be productive be active do whatever it is that you need to do to keep yourself busy because when you sit there and just waste time uh, or you're not working as an example and you're in a relationship you're sitting there at home the whole day thinking of just craziness because you have too much time in your hands that when your partner gets home from work and they're tired and they're exhausted you just nag at them because of all these things that you've been thinking that have been trolling around your head and it's just because you have too much time in your hands so be very careful with that now for those of you guys that are single the five of swords definitely speaks about uh, having you know um, bickering and fighting type of energy perhaps with the person that you were interested in if this is a person that you were dealing with and recently there's been a falling out, do not waste your time. Do not sit there and wait for them to reach out to you. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving. I don't feel that this is a good type of energy that you would want to pretty much sit around and wait for. So do the best for yourself and move forward. Um, again, keep yourself motivated, whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's relationships or finances. Um, but really focus when it, whatever you're going to do do it wholeheartedly don't do it half ass because if you half ass anything then you're never going to be able to achieve because you're not pushing yourself to the limit where i know you guys can actually do it okay so understand that and take it for what it is finally your spirits advice for the month of may 2018 you have been wow yeah the nine of swords i am not liking this all right, the Nine of Swords as a Spirit's advice. Spirit's advice is telling you that it is necessary to balance your energies. You are overwhelmed. Uh, you are overthinking things. For those of you guys that have a long-term committed relationship and it just seems like it keeps getting rockier and rockier, I highly encourage you guys to take some time away. Uh, this is for yourself and for your sanity. Uh, there is a necessity to detach yourself from toxic type of energies that are no longer helping you. And instead of bringing balance to your life, they're bringing all this chaos. So there is a necessity for you to step back, even if it's just to refocus or, you know, truly, genuinely find out what it is that you want. Um, with the Nine of Swords, I feel that this is Spirit telling you, <clears throat> excuse me if you're dealing with a person that brings a lot of anxiety a lot of worry to you do not even er entertain them anymore um, use this time 